people have made for free whatever they had been charging for. It is a time to reach out to humanity, not to make money out of humanity. It is a time to think of those in the third world countries who do not have the facilities of the first world. It is a time to think of your neighbors who don't have. It is a time to reach out with the little droplet that you have. It brings me to the Sahaba radiallahu anhum who used to share everything so much so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises them so much in the Quran. They actually gave preference over themselves to others, even though they were in desperate need of what they gave away. How many of us are doing this? I do know of a lot of medical staff, emergency staff, many others, those in some of the grocery stores, those drivers, those who are around, who have risked their lives for the sake of the safety and the service of others. During these times, La ilaha illallah, may Allah recompense you with an amazing reward. May He protect you and your loved sick and ill in any way and protect every one of us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us cure from this particular virus that has taken the globe by storm. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on us. One of the ways of earning the mercy of Allah at times when difficulty is all over to revive a sunnah of Muhammad, peace be upon him, which means one of his practices, one of his ways, pick them and revive them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us. One of these is that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa encouraged us to fast every Monday and Thursday. So if we were to fast every Monday and Thursday, we would earn a reward of reviving a sunnah. We would earn the mercy of Allah, his blessings, and Allah would grant us our supplications, whatever we're asking him for. Remember, at the end of the fast, every day, wherever you are across the globe, at your time zone, remember, once you are about to open the fast or just when you have completed that fast, you pray to Allah, you supplicate to him, you cry to him, you plead with him. And that is a, a time where the blessings of Allah is descending. So I ask you to revive this beautiful teaching of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to fast every Monday and Thursday, not only while we're in hardship, but even after this is all over, inshallah, which is going to be very soon, by the way, we have hope in the mercy of Allah. Similarly, fasting three days every lunar month, that is the 13th and 14th and 15th of the Islamic calendar, the Hijri month. If you were to do that, you would have a reward of having fasted the entire month. And on top of that, earning the pleasure of Allah. When we start giving importance to the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, not only would we improve in our relationship with Allah, but we would earn his mercy, his blessings, alleviate the sufferings. And at the same time, our health would also improve. May Allah bless every one of you. This is a serious matter and let's take it seriously. We are all in search of the mercy of Allah. We want his cure. We want his protection. What will also happen is Allah will calm us down. We will feel the contentment, the beauty. And in that way, we will definitely be able to improve not just ourselves, but everyone around us. Thank you so much. May Allah bless you all. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa